everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Points of Articulation. My name's Dave, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today, we have the unboxing of the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron Series 3 V Wing Starfighter, released in 2023. When it comes to the V Wing Starfighter, I always feel like these ships have a lot going for them. I find their designs to be very intriguing. We have the wedge shape in the front that we've seen with Republic and Imperial vessels. And then in the aft, we have a lot going on. Radiator panels, S-foils, laser cannons, thrusters, heat shields, and also a space for an astromech, which just looking at the box, we do have a pilot and an astromech, so I'm hoping there's a lot of articulation back here so we can freely fit that guy in there. You know, I know I yap a lot when it comes to these ships, but I just get so excited. So, you know what? Enough of me talking, because I could talk about the V-Wing for a long time. If you're new to my channel, what I'd like to do is go over the box, crack that bad boy open, take a quick look at the figures, look at the ship, and then we'll be done. So let's get started. All right, let's grab this bad boy. We have V-Wing Starfighter, Micro Galaxy Squadron. Number 63, for our minifigures, we have a clone pilot, which looks darn good. And we have an astromech, R4P17. Hmm, pretty cool. Here we have a little insert, the cockpit can open. No shockers there, most of them can open, and it does look like it already does, so pretty cool. For the ship itself, look at that. Now, don't the wings usually close facing the front? I don't know. It still looks fantastic, though. Lots of design elements on here. Oh, can't wait to look at that. On the top, we have Star Wars and also some Vulture Droids. My box was damaged while in shipping through Amazon, so don't mind the little rips there. On the side. Pretty cool. Series 3. The other side, painted engines, pretty cool. The top and the bottom where we have our copyright crap. Disney. On the back. Okay, so we do have a lot of moving parts. Astromech can fit and nice. These panels here can actually move all the way to the side. So that way we get access to where that droid goes. That is a perfect touch. I commend the people that did this for that. That's great. Here, our S-foils open. That's great. Look at that image. Perfect looking ship. And landing gear. Nice. Here we have our collector card. Looking sharp, Star Wars, and at the bottom, other ships that we're going to look at eventually. We have Poe Dameron's X-Wing, Anakin's Jedi Starfighter, we already looked at that. General Grievous's Starfighter, pretty dope. I actually have this one, we're going to look at it next. But uh, what the heck's the name of that ship? I know it's General Grievous's Starfighter on the box, but it... uh. Oh my god, it's on the tip of my tongue. Solus One, right? And the actual name is, if memory serves me right, I don't have a computer next to me. Um, I know it's a Belbelub? Belbelub? And I always remember it as Belzebub, you know, <laughs> the devil. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's Belbelub 22 Heavy Starfighter. I don't know, somebody check that. <laughs> I know I'm somewhere on the right track. And then the other variant we have, these are two chases. This is the Poe Dameron's X-Wing that we see in the beginning of The Force Awakens. Uh, that goes for about, at the moment, $50 on eBay. So maybe one day I'll pick that up, but not right now. But some great ships from all different trilogies. Looking dope. So enough of me yapping. Let's crack these guys out of this package. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's go. 
okay, that, that one was nice. That one was nice. The artwork wasn't really that destroyed. But pretty cool. We had Jedi Starfighters with Vulture Droids. Looking pretty nice. We'll stick that to the side. Not really any art for the bottom, just a star field. So I'm gonna get all that to the side. And in here was our minifigures. Oops, there we go. Okay, we have our clone pilot, which looks pretty cool. Let's have a closer look. For the clone pilot, he weighs in at about 0.49 grams or 0.017 ounces. For his height, he stands at 2.5 centimeters or one inch. Now you could tell he has a great looking sculpt on there. Straps, hoses, helmet, everything's there that should be and I love it. For the main colors, we have six, gray, light gray, black, dark blue, orange, and peach. For articulation, the hands can rotate all the way around, or I should say arms, and also he can bend at the waist. Nice. I think they did a great job with this. Next up, we have our R4 P17 Astromech. Let's have a close look at this. For R4 P17, we have basically a repaint of the normal Astromech. For its weight, he comes in at 0.74 grams or 0.02 ounces. For the height, it's 1.5 centimeters or 0.6 inches. For the colors, we have white, maroon, and gray. For the most part, I'm very happy with the paint on the Astromech, however, the gray paint on top of the dome is a little off. It's leaning more towards the back and it makes it look like it's wearing some sort of little skull cap or something. But besides that, it's pretty nice. So pretty cool. I think they did a great job with the astromech droids and all these ships. But maybe different colors or a different dome would go a long way. So maybe in the future we'll get some different astromechs. Okay, so now let's take a look at the ship. Okay, gotta get a scissor here. Okay, get rid of the garbage. And this thing looks fantastic simply fantastic wow silver paint on the bottom all right so i had to cut real quick and restation my camera and get the light in right because there is a lot to discuss and i really don't have that much time like i used to this ship is hands down one of the coolest designs i have seen from this line come out and this line has been hit after hit in my opinion so to say that it, it means something. First of all, we have a lot of moving parts on here. The top can open up just like that. We can put the astromech in and then shut it again, which is fantastic. The cockpit can open, which is amazing. And we'll put the figure in later. I'm just going over different parts. But interesting, beautiful design. We have our laser cannons on the sides, looking dope. On the bottom, I know I already talked about the silver paint. We have our engines and thrusters, and right here is the landing gear, which looks cool. We'll take a look at that in just a few. And then in the back, we have our thrusters that are painted. And look at the detail in there. This thing is nuts in a good way. Now, the interesting thing here is our S-foils, our panels, if you will. Now, I asked a question, how come the wings don't face front? 
which I believe they do. However, with this, as you can see right here, we have some molding. These wings rotate on sort of a gimmick. So they all move forward and lock into place. So how cool is that? It may not be extremely accurate because they don't shut forward, but in functionality, these are locked in. It's not going anywhere. And I sort of dig this. Now, one other thing I do like is the negative space. Here, I'll use my scissor here. Scissor can go right through, right there. They got the negative space. They got the molding. The paint looks amazing. We do have a thin amount of wash on here. You can see it from place to place. But I am very, very happy with this piece. I think it looks fantastic. Now, I know I'm going a little too hard with the details and the mold here. But this is just a great looking piece. And I, I don't know what to say. Uh, on the bottom, might as well just turn it into like a miniature normal review of mine. <laughs> we have our copyright crap on the sides. Screw hole right there. Now, in the front next to the copyright crap, we do have our landing gear. So you're gonna take your nail and pull it out like so, and just look at the detailing on there. Pretty nice, a little deep hole there, but great work on here. Great. Now we do have some molded plastic in between the two barrels here for the laser cannons. But that's to be expected. You know, with something like this, you know, kids are going to be buying these. You can't just have two little plastic rods. They're going to snap off. So, acceptable. But, all in all, a very fantastic piece. I'm very happy with this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. For the V-Wing, for its weight, it's 43.67 grams or 1.54 ounces. For its length, it measures in at 13.33 centimeters, or about 5 and 1 fourth inches. For the colors, we have about 8. Light gray, gray, maroon, black, white, silver, yellow, and a nice wash. All in all, I know I keep saying it, but I'm very happy with this piece. I think it came out beautifully. Some highlights for the paint I want to discuss are the engines are nicely done. We can see the silver paint with also the yellow there for the thrusters. And then we have the Republic symbol or insignia on a couple different places on here, which is pretty nice. And now for the clone pilot to access the canopy or cockpit, open these up, use your nail, flick it open. Take your clone pilot, place him in like so, close it, and just like that, he's ready to go. And he fits perfectly well. I think it came out great. Now to put the astromech into the ship, you're going to move these panels to the sides. Take R4, place him in like so, press him in, and just like that, He's good to go. And that looks great. Really cool. Now, just like other Micro Galaxy Squadron vehicles, down here we do have a button. So if you press, he'll pop right out. Maybe not just like that. Usually it just lifts him up, but this one shot him right at it there. And uh, really cool. I think this came out great. I know I keep saying that, but... Just a fantastic piece. Really cool. Nice. So real quick, I wanted to go over some of the details on here. We could see some beautiful panel lines, different little shapes here and there, but I just love the angles. In the cockpit, you could see all the controls are molded in. This piece is a work of art. Okay, coming to my favorite section, we have the aft. We have our two thrusters. 
and all these pieces hanging out and just look at the graded detail here. This is molded beautifully. Coming back, we have all our little extensions. The line work continues. And then we have our radiator panels, which look fantastic. On the ventral section, we have some copyright crap and beautiful angles. They really did above and beyond with this. For the landing gear to get a nicer shot, we could see all the mold in here. Very beautiful. Close that up. It's a little tight, but a job well done. I think this piece came out great. And that does it for the unboxing of the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron Series 3 V-Wing Starfighter, released in 2023. The mold, the design work on here is fantastic. The paint, beautiful. And it has articulation. The cockpit, the landing gear, the S-foils, shields on the top so the astromech can go in and out. Fantastically done for the figures themselves. The clone pilot looks fantastic as well. Nicely done, beautifully painted, nicely articulated. For the astromech droid, there was a little paint mishap with the top of its dome. Makes it look like it has like a little hat on. Uh, but besides that, it's an astromech. We've seen it time and time again. It's a repaint for the most part. You know, I just love it. And I like it so much that I took extra time to get a nice close-up shot of different things on here. Just to show off what this has. Because it, I felt like I was not doing it justice. Just holding it in my hand and showing you what it could do. You need to see those little details and line work and all the great little molded doodads and buttons. I, I really like this and there's nothing more to say on the matter, you know. <laughs> Uh, if you do like this ship, though, I fully recommend picking it up. Um, I got mine off Amazon. Check your local Walmarts and Targets. They might have them or retail stores around your area. Uh, in Series 5, which right now it's March 2024, so it should be coming out quite soon, there is a Chase vehicle, which is a variant of this, which I believe is black and white or black gray and white so that one does look very cool and if i could find it i'll pick it up and do an unboxing of it obviously but that's everything i have to say about the unboxing if you guys enjoyed this video smash that like button and you know from the heart everyone thank you so much for taking time out of your hectic schedules to watch my content i greatly appreciate it uh more than you know and you know, just, I know times are hard for many of us out there. Life could be hard, but keep pushing forward. You know, don't let it knock you down. Just keep getting up and keep pushing forward. Okay, everyone, that's my little motivation speech for this week. <laughs> keep positive, keep on trucking, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bloop, bloop.